It's Thursday morning, it is wet and miserable, so we're going to be in a workshop. Anyway, I've got this little nifty device. It uh, clips on a battery. It's a solder now, so we're going to try it now, see what it's like. Pretty pleased with that. Someone rang me, so I didn't, I didn't get to film it, but I heated up in about 80 seconds, if that. That's, well, about a minute. It's got Craig's trailer in now. His new axle's arrived. We're just going to flip it upside down so that we can cut the old axles off. Get it all true and square and then weld them back on. Here's just cutting through the axles now and get them off. They're welded on three sides. Yeah, because the axle's welded in three places, Ian's cut through that one so that we can get to that to cut off with the big grinder. You see the rubber suspension mounts inside? So it's like square with rubber blocks around it and that's what gives it its the swinging arm a bit of play. No, We're nearly off now, grind them all up and then get the other ones on. Give it all of the measure, make sure it's dead square. Stitch them on with a welder. Actually, they've just timed it, 18 seconds. It's, it's heated up and I'm just soldering these wires on now for this battery for in here. Because the plugs were different when it came. This had, um, lost them now. I had tiny little plugs on and I need bigger plugs, so I'm just swapping them to the old, from the old batteries. They're all cut off now, ground up smooth. These axles are ready to go on. It's gonna, Rob's, uh, Ian's just finishing off the last one there. There we go, we've all had a bit of a do it sorting this out. Ian cut them off. Rob's welded some of them, I've welded some of them. We've been doing other jobs in the meantime. Just put the wheels back on, flick it over. Needs a bit of paint on it, a bit of galve spray. Job done. Quick change of scenery now, just at Everton's training ground. You can see because of the muck on the windows and the boom, maybe. There we go, they're over there training. Just emptying the grass clippings out for them. Bit of organic matter. Craig's trailer is now all done and out of the workshop, as you've just seen on the time lapse. Slightly uprated axle, so it does sit a little bit higher. I'm sure it'll be fine for what he's going to do with it, but it's going to be a lot stronger than it used to be. So, the Easter egg that Hills Green sent me went missing, but they've sent me something else. So, that has arrived. So, whatever that is from Bowl and Whisk, I presume it's some sort of like fudge. I'm definitely going to end up fat. But thank you so much. Had a quick change, now in the car, next stop, I'm going to on the way to Congleton to do the AHDB live tonight, but on the way I'm going to call it Ashbrook, so they've got a massive yard full of plant, which is dead interesting, so we're going to go and have a quick mooch around their yard on the way, but he's either like a mile away from it. I'm just in James's office now, and I've just seen something cool go out, I'll show you that in a minute, but this is, this is all the diggers and plant in the yard, some's coming in, some's going out, there's the workshops over there getting it ready, he's got um Got a fleet of case tractors there. And when James got started, how old are you, James? 41. Well, let me just, it is flashing on the screen, I've stopped it now. Um, so James is 41, and you've built this business up from the age of? I uh, just left school in 1998, 16, went to Razie College, and then four and a half kicked in, so we couldn't uh, go to college anymore. So we started off with a farm tractor, carting bales, and then built up to this today. So how many machines do you think you've got now? Uh, there's about three and a half thousand, depends on the time of year and the, uh, the peak in summer, and then we'll sell some in winter. Yeah. You've just heard a little bit of how James got started, and a lot of people helped him along the way. Well, he wants to do the same. So we've just been coming up with a little bit of a brainstorming idea of, of, of how we could give a bit back to other people. And one of the things that we've come up with, and we want your feedback on this, is, is do like a little bit of an apprentice style thing where maybe a tractor and a digger or a few of them if people were have the appetite if you will to send in like a cv to say look you know i want to start contracting this is what i'm thinking of doing and then we could 
have some sort of like little bit of a competition or at least see which is this best sort of business plan or CV. And then they would get either a free tractor or a free digger for a year to get themselves started in agriculture because it is so difficult to get in. The cost of finance on some of these now is just phenomenal. The gone are the days where you could just put the VAT down and um, get going and actually you didn't really have to have a deposit to do it. So what do people think about that? How should we do it? You know, James wants to give something back. Do you think that's a good idea of, of like some sort of an apprentice scheme where you, where you end up with a free machine for the year just to get yourself going? Let us know in the comments how you think we should try and make it work. We've got some ideas, but we just think, ask the audience. So put some comments below and see what you think. Someone's decided that they uh, need a dump trailer as well as a grain trailer. Right, before we go and look at the real machines outside, I'm just going to show you some of the models. So every time he buys 100 machines, they give him, they give him a model. So there's quite a few of them. That football's flat. <laughs> Look at that, that's cool, isn't it? That's up for a quarry where we actually work. We have machines and drivers in there working and uh, we've done that as like a real time. They look good when they're dirty models, don't they? Mm -hmm. They look like proper. Yeah, yeah, taste that. Where's that big dumper truck then? Triple seven, that's in Malaga in the Cats Test facility. They actually let me drift that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 1,000 horsepower. No way. This is the big push. Let me uh, push 100 ton down the hill in one go. Wow. Yeah, D11 on the left there. What's the, what's the silver one then? That was uh, JCB's, had to buy that in a charity auction. Oh right. Yeah. <laughs> Probably costs the same as a normal JCB. Yeah, yeah. Right, before the rain comes, we're just gonna have a quick look round the yard. So there's, the, there's some of the tractors ready to go out. Are they micro diggers then? Because they're what, under a ton? 700 kilos, power barrows, crusher bucket like we used to have. Mini diggers, what are they? 1.8 tons, dumpers, and then bigger diggers. So we'll go down the yard and have a proper look. How heavy are they? 30 tons. 30 tons. It's a beast, isn't it? How many horsepower? 300. Might be more than that, to be honest. And what, what will it hold about? 25 ton or something? 30, 30 ton. Nice sleep. Get more in if you put it on. <laughs> 30, 30 ton legal. So good, some as well, so you get more payload. Oh, yeah. Because some of them are just a ramp, aren't they? That's it. Wide tyres on flotation. It's travel well. Yeah. Is it? What? what I think. Oh, is, mine, is mine a 313? I think, yeah, I think these are the same as ours. The plastic tank. And then some bigger ones over here. That zero tail swing, it's massive. Oh, now there's a roller. That's what we need to run it over a can of spray foam, isn't it? Don't know why, but I just kind of feel like I need a bulldozer. Not, not no idea what for. They're just cool. Another roller. Massive them, aren't they? 325, that must be 25 tonne. Guess what they're called? Today's quiz question. Have a guess and let me know in the comments. It's like a hot tub that, you can put a light of fire underneath that bucket's that big. Loads of telehandlers as well. It's like a mini Merlot. Some JCBs. <laughs> so this 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 in the yard is just is about is about 20% of um, what goes out on hire. So the, if you're hung you up you might, I want 10 telehandlers tomorrow. They're here aren't they? which does happen on these big jobs. So do, does anyone actually know how many in the yard at one, any one time? <laughs> so have you got, how many diggers have you got? Tell me tomorrow, because you, you, he must have, if he's got thousands of machines, he must have, Tens of thousands of buckets. 
Anyway, because I'm staying up the road tonight, he's just said that they're going to get a can of spray foam and we're going to try his big dip, one of his big rollers over a can of spray foam. Anyway, I'm going to have a look what's at the back here because I think some of these... I think we might do one like our old one. Yeah, there we go. This is what our old one looked like. It's a 313 GC, is it, whatever? Robin's going to be well jealous. He loves a case tractor. And um, they've got a fair few here. They are a good looking tractor. In, in a, well, they're like angry, aren't they? But like in a nice way. Chrome gear stick. Smells like new. Anyway, I'm going to shoot up the road now to the AHDB thing. Don't forget, you can see that live on the channel in a bit, and it might be live on my TikTok. I've not worked out which is going to be the best signal. But let us know anyway. So he's been training 25 years. Lots of people helped him get a leg up to get started in business. He's willing to do the same. How do you think we should do it? You know, any feedback is appreciated by us all. And I'm going to come back tomorrow and have a proper play because I've not got time today on the big dumper and we're going to see what we can do with that roller. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later on as the birthdays that Ian's done. Did you know that the best way to clean whiteboard marker that's been on there for ages is to use more whiteboard marker. He didn't know that. Look. Look at that. Perfect. We have Lee Speakman is 34, Dougie Morden is 47, Lawrence Morden is 40, Alfie Taylor is 21, Darren Murphy is 5, all the way from Perth, Western Australia, and Baby Porter Jones, as yet unnamed, asks us in the comments perhaps, and Tom Murphy are both zero. Porn. Certainly this morning for Tom, I don't know about Baby Porter, but we need a name as well. She's a girl, so we need a name in the comments. Is that how you do it? 31,867 pounds. So happy birthday to everyone on there. <laughs> and if it is your birthday and you're not on there, then next time you know what to do, don't you?